Welcome to Greg's Garage, everybody. If you own any type of street bike, adventure touring, dual sport, cruiser, sport bike, whatever, I know you're always looking for great roads to ride. What a lot of people don't know is about 100 miles north of Atlanta, Georgia, there are some amazing roads to ride, both on and off. And for years, there was a great place to stop by, hang out, eat, chat, camp, sleep, that was at the base of it all. It was called Two Wheels Only, a restaurant campground for motorcycles only. But much to the dismay of many, it closed down in 2010. But one man who had been riding and camping at Two Wheels for decades decided it was time to reopen and reopen under a new name, Two Wheels of Suchus. He made vast improvements to TWOS and it's one place you might put on your riding bucket list. Okay, Greg, appreciate you coming up. I'm Bill, uh, own Two Wheels of Suches. Um, been coming to this campground for 22 years. I now live in Suches as a result of this campground being here. And uh, it closed a few years ago, and uh, I, it was important to me. It's a passion. I wanted it back open, so we're trying to get it back open and get the word out that, that we're back open. We just came off the fire service roads that are north of here and we got extremely muddy and he tricked me. <laughs> but the bike's very capable and there's a lot to explore um, in the surrounding areas so we had a lot of fun. When you're down at home and you're planning your weekend, tell me about Two Wheels of Suchus and how it you know, works into your plan. It's always the only thing that I know for sure is that we'll come here for lunch and I always get the same thing. I've been coming here for maybe 10 years or so. Um, so I don't care which roads we take on the way here as long as we have lunch here. This is the, the building. Uh, Frank and Jeannie originally leased the land and they built the building themselves here. Uh, it was built by some local contractors. This is 72 or 73. I'm not exactly sure when that was. And it was a uh, barbecue restaurant of some renown. It uh, was written up in Brown's Guide to Georgia. It got to be pretty famous. This is the, uh, what was originally the restaurant in the dining area. And uh, now we use it for, currently we're serving six meals a week. That varies some depending on the season. Um, Sundays we show MotoGP for breakfast when we're having race weekends and on the big screen and just basically a lodge. We completely rebuilt the kitchen. Skip and Mary and their children run it for me. Uh, the memorabilia in here, some of it I acquired when the uh, former Camp Garen went out of business. Uh, some of it's been donated by other people and we still get stuff every weekend. Uh, it, I'm sure it will grow as time goes on. Upstairs is where Frank and Jeannie lived. Now, since we don't, Skip and Mary live close by, we don't need that, so they, we now rent out the rooms, kind of a bed and breakfast arrangement, if you will. There are three bedrooms up here. We've got the general sitting area, we've got satellite TV with all the MotoGP races recorded and what have you. The kitchen, don't have an oven, but everything else you got in the kitchen here. The bedrooms are uh, here. Uh, we've got some regulars, there's a, uh, we call him Tall Paul on the Gold Wing and his wife, I bet they've been here half a dozen times. They just call them spur of the moment, come up, there from Alabama. We get people from Atlanta, we get people from Ohio and Canada. Uh, we get them all over. And as word gets out that we're back open, uh, some of the best riding in the United States, in my opinion, is right in this immediate, immediate area. Tell me about the roads around here, not only on-road, but also the dual sports stuff. The dual sports stuff is phenomenal because we have the Chattahoochee National Forest, and I can pretty much get you from Dawsonville, the next town south, to here and up to Tennessee on gravel roads. Um, very minimal amount of pavement. Um, and it hooks into the Cherokee National Forest, the Pisgah National Forest, all that stuff loops together. I mean, you can spend a week out here getting up into the Blue Ridge Parkway and all that stuff. It's fantastic stuff. All the roads leading here are great, in and out. Highway 60 from Morganton south to here or from Dahlonega up. Uh, they do the cooler run, what they call it around here, is south on 60, 
can get to the rock pile, turn left on Highway 19, go north on it to Highway 129, follow it all the way up to 180 and back around 180 back to 60 here. It's a great loop, about 36 miles. And then once you're here, what do you get to do? Uh, you get to hang out and tell lies and kick tires with everybody and eat a good meal. We've got a great meal here and it's just good times. Everybody's got something in common that not even met each other, but they still have that two wheels in common. On a future Greg's Garage, we learn more about two wheels of such as campground. Some of the locals in Suches have told me to them this is the purest area of Suches with a little creek running through here. There aren't any reserved camping spots. You come pitch a tent wherever you'd like, um, wherever suits you, including in the front lawn. We do have area over here for toy haulers, additional parking. That's, uh, we'll get over there later. That's where the swap meet's going on. No hookups, but most of the toy haulers got generators and utilities. Charge, same as tents, since we don't have hookups. Make sure you like us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and me personally, at Greg White on Twitter. That's it. We'll see you next time on Greg's Garage.